Okay, guys, I've got another very, very small set just to show you. I'm going to build up for you. Um, it literally is a dragon and a minifigure. But we're sticking with the Fright Nights theme from last week. And it's this set's called Bat Lord. Although there were different names for this set, which I'll explain a little bit more later on. I'll show you what it's listed as in my UK catalogue anyway, at least. It's set 6007. And brick set has is listed as 12 pieces, but actually there's more pieces because these dragon pieces do come apart. And like I say, released in 1997. Really amazing box art on here. That fiery sky. And the alternate bells, obviously. But a really, really cool scene on the back of the box. These bats flying across. Just fantastic stuff. So, let's build it and I'll quickly show it to you. So, that's how I store my sets. Put them in these little baggies. Doesn't matter if it's a big set or a little set. They're all the same. You do get a hilarious little instruction manual with this. Just shows you how to build a figure and a dragon. Let's build this figure first. You get this amazing cape with this figure. I always find these really fiddly, I don't know why. So this is how the dragons came, so you have to put the tailpiece on. This clips into place. You put the front limbs on. The arms, I guess. This is the top jaw. A bit like a crocodile. And that lifts up and down, and then you get one of these flame pieces, and there's a little anti-stud in there. And it just sits in. Gives the impression that it's breathing fire and then a couple of clips on the side attach these wings these are these trans orange wings on so here's our dragon again see so you get a bit of movement in the tail these arms do move and you get that jaw action and it looks a little bit odd when you do that head is solid unfortunately and the rear legs but you can't do a sort of a, a flying motion with these and you've probably seen in other videos I've done previously, you do get these in green as well. Uh, I believe it did come in another colour as well. I think there's a decorated, beautiful decorated one. Um, but really, really cool piece. And you can sit somebody on the back of there. And a little minifigure. Our Basil the Bat Lord minifigure. Does come with this nice metallic sword and his staff, his bat staff. Pretty nice toss of print, pretty plain pants, this really cool bat helmet and a nice mustachioed head print under there, nothing on the back. But he does have this amazing cape. It's like a cloth material with this bat emblem on. Really, really cool minifigure, I think. And if you really, really want to. You can have him riding the dragon. A very small set, but a very cool little set. And if you're interested, this is the instruction manual. I say instruction manual, it's basically just like what would be the first page of a normal instruction manual. You do get a very, very nice a picture of him on here, though, standing on the back of the dragon, in fact. And then it's just assembly for the dragon on the back. Interestingly, it does tell you who printed the instructions, which you don't see very often. Though. Printed done by Laos and Gruppen. And there's our year. So that's quite interesting. And I believe this was a, a, like a, a 
points thing you used to be able to collect. You'd cut these off and send them away and you could get free Lego. But I don't think that would work now. And just really, really quickly, this is my 1997 or one of my 1997 Lego catalogs. And if we turn to page 17, well, we'll show this properly in full at some point. Here's our Fright Night sets. We've done reviews on this one. They call it the Evil Mountain in here. Not the Witch's Magic Manor, which is what it's called elsewhere. We've done a video on this one. We've done a video on this one. They call it Hubble Bubbles Dragon Air. Weird that they call them different names. Battle Lords Prisons call something different. Hubble Bubbles Ballista. I do have that set, and I'll do a review on that one. So we've got all these sets. And here, look, it's called Count, Bat, Lord, and Dragon. So interesting how they give these things different names, depending on which region it was, and even change names of things in the same country. There we go, guys. Very, very quick one. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll continue to try and do some of these very small set builds, just pure builds, building set up, quickly show it to you. I mean, 16 pieces I just counted there, not 12 because of the extra limbs, but very, very easy to build. Let me know if you enjoy this type of video, because um, I'll continue doing them. If you do want to do that, I'll continue doing the original vintage videos as well, just uh, reviewing the sets. Look out for more on the hotel. It's slow going, but we'll get another video out very, very soon. Hopefully try and do another tour of the city as well. What are you doing for the rest of the week, guys? Have a fantastic week. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys really, really soon.